Good evening, everyone. So Fabian will answer any English questions in English and German in German, and then translation will come simultaneously through the headsets. Start with you, Keith, when you're ready. Fabian, how are you? How are you feeling after the weekend? It's obviously been an intense time for for the players. I know you had the rest at Old Trafford last week, but how are you feeling physically and and mentally? And what is a very small squad just now, given the amount of injuries that there are? Yeah, I'm feeling good actually. Um, obviously, a win always helps. Um, I think, special winning against like a top team. Um, Gives you a boost in the confidence, and obviously over the last few weeks, I think the team does really well. Um, everyone who steps in the team uh, performing on a high level, and I know we had, or we have a, a few injuries, but um, really, really proud of the team and the quality we have. So um, I'm looking forward for tomorrow. The, the manager was just telling us a moment ago about, about Dan, the fact that he's going to be out for a, a few months with his back injury. For someone who plays alongside him, you've got to know him very well over the last few months, uh, the last year or so, sorry. How, how big a blow is that for you guys as a team? Yeah, a big blow to be fair. Um, obviously, Dan, so important for us. Uh, he's, he's been brilliant and obviously not just on the pitch, also off the pitch. Um, yeah, another another blow uh, in, in terms of injuries but um, yeah, now there is time for, for other players to step up and obviously I'm, I'm, I'm really confident in the team and um, yeah Just finally from me, what are your experiences of playing here at the stadium? Well the game I played with us so not great to be fair <laughs> um, no, I mean the, the stadium I, I know and it's it's going to be very tough for 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 Newcastle tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's, it's like we when we play home. Obviously, the crowd uh, giving us so much, so it's, it's it's going to be the same for them tomorrow. Um, yeah, but we have to focus to focus on ourselves and just forget the the noise and what's going around us, and then just just focus on our performance. Reza. Over the last few weeks, to play alongside Jamal Lascelles again at centre back. Yeah, I think um, he's been brilliant. With uh, um, he's stepping in and, and, and he's performing on a really high level. Um, so I'm really happy for him as well because obviously um, before he, he wasn't probably easy. I'm not playing too much. Man, I know how how it is. I was in similar situations maybe and. Um, but he's so professional and obviously a great character um, off the pitch as well. And, and I think he performed really well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for him. Sven's injury has meant that you've moved from the right of central defence to the left. How comfortable are you with that positional change? Well, it's, it's going all right, to be fair. Um, Maybe it's a bit different when when you play the first game, but um, now I've I've been on on that position a, a few games, so um, it's not a big big problem, big not too big difference if you play on the left on the right. Um, so yeah, I'm really confident. Scott and then Chris. Hi Fabian. Um, there's, there's been a kind of a lot said over the last few years about money that Newcastle have spent and things, but if you look at the team that played at the weekend, Jamal, yourself, Sean, Callum, uh, Jacob before he went off, I mean, you've got players there who have gone on this entire journey with Newcastle. Um, what do you think it says about you as a group? And just talk a little bit about the kind of journey that that, that, that group of players has been on with Newcastle. Well, I think it's just improvement from not just the club, also every individual. I mean, since um, the last two years, we, we've been on a brilliant journey, to be fair, and, and everyone um, stepped up. I think the togetherness we have in the squad, um, I've never never had this uh, in my career before. Um, it's unbelievable. So I'm just um, really happy to, to be part of it, and I think that's the same for for many other players so we just try to fight for each other and i think we we've been so so much better and so much improvement over the last last few years that's um just yeah great to see and how 
and how much um, praise do you think that Eddie and the rest of the coaching staff need f for that? Because at various stages, a number of that group have kind of been written off. You know, are they going to be sold? Are they ever going to make it in Newcastle? And yet here you are playing Borussia Dortmund in, in the Champions League. Yeah, obviously he's, I would say, the main character or, or, the, or the managers. They're, they've done unbelievable. Um, they just made it possible the the way they they're coaching the way they they put this group together um the togetherness we are in now i think um that's huge praise for them and obviously i speak for myself but um, um i wouldn't be in that position possibly without 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 him so i'm just um really thankful for from for him and obviously the club that he they brought him in and I think yeah I just uh, try to give everything back what what I can do and uh, and just uh, leave the heart on the pitch. Chris, hi Fabian. I mean obviously you played European football earlier in your career, but when you signed for Newcastle, did you envisage yourself playing in the Champions League with the club, given where they were at the time? Probably not. No, to be honest, but. Um, at that stage, I wouldn't even think about it. Um, it was different times. Um, also, the years um, I played, um, like the first three or four years in Newcastle, were like almost more or less you play against uh, relegation, um, which is obviously very different. And yeah, um, that's I think makes it even better for myself to still be. At this club, where, which I, I love so much, and now playing Champions League and and and, and having these these good times uh, over the last few few years, and I'm just just uh, enjoying the moment. You mentioned how much you love the club. I mean, obviously, you you've said before you had some tough times when, when you weren't in the team. Where does this stage in your career rank in terms of enjoyment and, and just fulfilment in the, in the way that you're playing? Yes, definitely, best time of my career, to be honest. Um, just um, you're playing uh, in the best league. Um, you're playing for myself, where I feel really comfortable. Um, I feel like second home. I've said a few times. Um, been here now um, over five years, so um, yeah, I feel really confident. And and and, and obviously the the city and 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 the club, they they gave me a lot, and I'm, I just want to give something back and. Um, just um, see see the enjoyment also for the fans and, and the good times they have. I think they they really deserve it, and I'm just um, really thankful for that. Craig and then Lee. Fabian, obviously the night against Paris Saint Germain was arguably the highest point of your career at Newcastle. You then go into the Dortmund game, and it's totally the opposite. Not for you personally, I mean as a team. That's a reminder of how difficult this competition is. And can you just compare the two nights from the high of Paris? To the low of, of Dortmund and what happened there. Well, it's it's Champions League. Uh, we have a we have a very tough group. Um, obviously, um, against Paris, I think was probably one of our best games and performances. And then you see what what, what Saint James Park can do as well. Um, so I just want to see this picture because. Um, that's where we want to be, and 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 the level we we want to be game by game. Obviously, you can't reach it maybe all the time, but that's the, the process we are in, and 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 obviously we can learn a lot from the Dortmund game, and then um, do it better next time. And on Saturday we saw a different side, you guys, a nastier side, perhaps at times. Do you guys enjoy playing like that, playing hard when you have to? I enjoy to play whatever it takes to win a game, you know. Um, sometimes uh, it's, it's what needed. Um, a game can, can go different ways and, and I think we, we know what we need to do and sometimes it's not obviously you play unbelievable nice football. Maybe sometimes you have games like Saturday where are really tight and like details and like a lot of fouls I would say and then like things off the pitch as well, which I don't really care because uh, at the end it's just uh, three points what, what matters and obviously we were really happy to have uh, to keep them in, in Newcastle. Hey. Um, you played 
played in Newcastle when we played five at the back, park and the bus in relegation battles. But now teams have played a much more attacking style, which obviously you enjoy. How much happier as a person does that make you on a day-to-day -day basis, knowing you're going to play this good entertaining football? Well, it's the most entertainment for me is, is good results, and obviously we we have better results uh, now than we had a few years ago. So um, I don't really care how how we get get a win or how you play. Like I said on Saturday, wasn't probably our best game, but but we won and it was like perfect for us, you know. Um, so I'm just uh, enjoying being in the team, like I said, and, and obviously the. The way we've been through and uh, and where we came and where we are now is just uh, really nice nice to see and obviously I want to continue like that. You obviously always wanted to stay at the club, but did it come to a point where you thought you might have to to leave the club? There was a time when your contract situation was in the air, wasn't it? Well, obviously there was time where where I was thinking what's what's going to happen because I was in a difficult situation. I uh, wasn't sure if. If the the club is still here for me, and or, or they still want me to be fair, but um, as soon as um, the new manager Eddie walked in, I thought that's my chance. I uh, kind of knew him before, so since that everything has ch have changed, and I'm just just really glad for the moment. Yeah. Would you complain if you finished your career with, as a Newcastle player? Complain? No, no. <laughs> I mean. I would love to, to be fair. Thanks, Lee. So we've got Dom, Martin, and then Oscar to finish, please. I've been just on the same subject. You signed a two-year contract at the club a year and a half ago. Just what's the current situation on that, and how keen, as you say, would you be to extend that stay? Well, you just said what what the situation is, and I said what um, how how much I love the club, how much I, uh, I want to be here. So I think that. <sighs> I don't have to say any anything else. Martin? Hey Fabian, you've, you've beaten Manchester United, Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal. How great is the desire of the players to keep doing that? Because as a footballer you want to win games and obviously we want to achieve things and, and, and I think we've seen last year what's what's possible and, and um, for that you have you have to beat the best teams in the in, in, in the world and, and especially also now when I speak for tomorrow that's this group is so tough so you have you have to compete the best uh, against the best teams and, 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 and win games and that's that's why you play football and we all saw how t tough it was on Saturday do you think other teams in England have been unsettled or, un or unhappy at the rise of Newcastle at the minute I don't know and I don't really really care to be to be honest it's, it's just um I'm not. I'm not thinking what other people or clubs um, think about us. Um, I just try to achieve the best possible thing for for Newcastle as a club, and I think we we we're doing quite well. And just focusing on that. And finally, can I just ask, what are players' thoughts on VAR at the minute? Because there's so much controversy. Do the players talk about it, and what are their thoughts? Um. I think the media spoke speak more than the us players to be fair. So I know it's a lot of, of, of things going on, decision which people are different have different opinions and stuff like this, but as a player you you're on the pitch and wanna play football and you can't really change anything, you know. Um so I think for, for ourselves it's best just to, to focus on the game and, and, and forget forget the rest. Um obviously sometimes you have decisions where, where you're not not happy with but um there's nothing you you really can do so forget it and just focus on football. And Oscar to finish off please. You've alluded to the tough times you had here before Eddie came in and um, you're out on the side considering your future. Um here you are on the eve of the huge Champions League game. Have you proved the former manager wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Well um, you have to ask him. Um I think I've I, I had two great years now and already um, performed on on the highest level. I think I improved as well a lot uh, under 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 Eddie. He ma he made me a better player. 
and obviously when the team is doing well, it's, it's, it's easy as a player as well to, to improve and uh, I'm just happy to, to see um, the way the club has been and, and where I was as well and, and where it's now. Is this perception that maybe you couldn't play in a back four? I mean, what, what did you make of that at the time? Are you able to laugh now at those? I don't know. Who, who said that? There was this idea potentially under the previous manager that you had <coughs> Yeah, well, I, I feel quite comfortable in the back four. So, you know. Four? Did you say you'd had? Did you say you, before he joined the club? Did you say a moment ago you'd had dealings with Eddie before? Yeah, uh, we had contact before when when he was manager at Bournemouth. Yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.